Pain Week is a very unique conference. A few things that I really like about Pain Week is that many of the speakers are not physicians. Um, so we hear from pharmacists and psychologists and psychiatrists. And, and so many of these different clinicians treat many of the same things I do, but in a very different way. And I think that diversity of background really leads to a diversity of education, which I think is really important, especially now as we are seeing more and more multidisciplinary care and really collaboration. I think electronic medical records further fosters that as now we can see each other's charts and really interact both behind the scenes, but also face to face at these kinds of meetings. The other thing I like about Pain Week is that who's supposed to treat pain? Everybody. So that's why it's not like a neurology conference where it's all neurologists or, you know, it's a psychiatry conference where it's all psychiatrists. The attendees, many of them are primary care and other people who are really the front line of medicine. Um, and a lot of people, because of the opioid crisis and all these other issues, have tended to shy away from treating pain when, in fact, with so many newer treatments that are available, it's really important to embrace uh, the new treatments and really be able to help take care of our patients. Uh, unfortunately, there are just not enough pain specialists. There's not enough neurologists. There's not enough headache specialists to really take care of every single person experiencing uh, pain, whether it's episodic or chronic. Um, so I really enjoy that opportunity to educate my colleagues on how to really manage um, all these different pain conditions, whether it's you know the very a treatment naive patient who's really never tried any treatments versus the more complex patient who's seen three or four clinicians and really is looking for a fourth level of opinion and treatment.